What's happening, you guys? Back at it again. Saturday morning, like always. And uh, time for that weekly update. Um, smoking on something from the dispensary, which I uh, I don't like. I kind of mixed that in with uh, some of the Girl Scout cookies that I grew. That way it's uh, smoother and you know, it gives it a little, little bit more taste. Alrighty, so we're in here with the Viper Spectra. Looking nice, as expected. Things are super frosty, look at that. Can you guys see that? Let's change cameras. There we go. Look at that. Yeah. So, this is basically the uh, Sour OG attributes. Super frosty. Um, it's uh, it's getting there, stacking up right now. It's, it's uh, putting on some weight. And Soon enough, I'll be flushing it. And uh, like always, I flush with uh, hydrogen peroxide. I have alcohol, clean my hands, any tools. Uh, but that, I right, flush. And uh, let me tell you guys, if you haven't flushed with that before, um, it's, uh, it's, it's a different taste when you're smoking. And I also noticed if uh, you don't cure all the way or maybe you want to taste it a little bit early, you know, before it fully dries and cures, then uh, it's a different taste, a lot smoother. Um, I just tried it one time. And uh, ever since then, I stuck to it because of uh, it just brings out, you know, the, uh, the the flavor. There's really no harshness to it. Um, so that's gonna be soon for these ladies. I'm gonna flush them and just give them RO water for uh, quite a bit of time. Hopefully, they stack up. So today I took I don't know six, six, seven clones of the uh, purple cheese and I just took two of the sour OGs so like I explained before I'm trying to phase out the Girl Scout cookies uh, it's not really doing it a whole lot for me so um, <sighs> coming in here dude I took off some uh, some huge fan leaves when I was uh, defoliating, and uh, I was happy. See a little burn? That was because it reached up to the light, and it was actually touching. So I mean, look at that it's stacking up nicely too. Pretty sure it was right next to the light, and uh, started to grow a bunch right there compared to uh, the lowers. So in here, it's filling out nicely. Purple cheese. These are smaller plants. You can tell there's not a whole lot of stretch. You know, compare something like that to its next door neighbor, the Cyber OG. And if I were to have a Girl Scout cookies, which I do, which is uh, back to there, um, it would have been, you know, stretchier. And this is fairly young in the flower stage, so it's going to stretch out quite a bit. You guys will see the difference there. So that's why I decided to keep on growing that purple cheese. And on top of that, it's this um, exotic smell to it. It's um, quite different. So I enjoy smoking it. You got some golf sized nugs off of there. So another uh, Sour LG back there. Same thing. We defoliated it. And look at this big bad boy. It's going to be crazy. I don't really like it because it's been in here in the CFL. Obviously with that, it's gonna stretch a bit. 
uh, but that's all right. In here, uh, took the clones from this plant mostly, purple cheese. As you can tell, it's kind of short for right now, but it's root structure. It's a uh, pretty big actually that's why I transplanted in two gallon smart pot um, I might not leave it in there for too long I might transplant it next week depending on the, the time and if I have pots that kind of thing purple cheese right in the middle as well and back there is the it's sour OG which I took clones off uh, so did spray, did my cleaning, that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't mind that sticker. It's actually Ghost Town Cookies. Basically, the last two that I have, besides the one that's flowering. And uh, that's about it for right now, you guys. But that's about it. And uh, yeah, so obviously, time changed. You guys, it's getting cooler. I'm stoked. Uh, unfortunately, my mom just came in, informed me the electricity bill is in, and now, uh, if you guys watch my previous videos, uh, you understand, charging me more than what I'm using, but I guess that's the price I have to pay to grow in her, uh, property, so, looking awesome, stacking up. Even, even the uh, lowers, I mean, look at that. From the top, down, and you have frost. So, so far I'm satisfied, and that's why, like I said, I'm looking to upgrade to get another uh, LED. I'm bigger for... Uh, the CFL room. Get rid of those. I'm done. So, until next time, you guys. Take care. Keep on growing. Keep on posting videos. Um, experiment. Uh, you know, let us know what's going on. If you guys have any issues with your grow, let me know down below. Uh, well, I'm out, you guys. Representing Southern California growers and uh, medical patients. Okay. Especially with next year, that's going to be an issue, I believe. So, we'll see. So, uh, keep on doing your thing. Be responsible. Take care of yourselves and each other.